praised are you Adonai who brings forth fruit from the vine. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shachol Bara Lefodo Praised are you Adonai who shapes the universe all things create and speak of your glory. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Scott, you told me that it was Jesse's bubbly personality that you first fell in love with. She was smart, lots of fun. It didn't hurt that she spoke Russian. Today, as your love for Jesse has deepened, you still have fun together. And you miss her terribly when she has to travel for work. And Jesse, you told me that Scott is sweet, funny, nice, and genuine. You mentioned how thoughtful it was that he took you to the Jewish Museum on your first date. As your understanding of Scott has grown, <laughs> he surprises you every day and continues to be your sweetheart. New journeys offer us the opportunity to honor what it is that each of us brings, the blessings and the gifts. This is how we navigate the sacred journey that is marriage, by looking in the eyes of our loved one and thanking God for each other and for all the blessings that our partner brings to the journey. Dear Jesse, I couldn't resist writing a note on this awesome stationery. <laughs> I have tears after writing your card. Enjoy every second of the day. I love Scott. You have made Scott more outgoing, social, and fun, have exposed him to great food and fashion, and have made him almost communicative in Russian. <laughs> Jesse, the only question I have about you is what you will do with all the time saved writing your new last name. <laughs> Jesse and Scott, I knew you were special when on your first date I texted Scott to ask if he had built the courage to kiss Jesse yet. He smiled and she caught him. He kissed her and the rest was history. Or something like that. <laughs> I am extremely impressed, impressed by how bright you are, how dedicated you are, and your amazing family values. What's even more impressive is that you've obviously known us for just about as long. You've been to a number of our loud family functions. You've met a lot of our relatives during those functions, and you still decided to go through with it. Um, so Scott and I first met in New York City. We actually met on a dating app called Coffee Meets Bagel. And we were texting and talking on the phone a lot and we finally decided to meet. So for our first date, Scott came to New York and he took me out. We went to a museum and we went to dinner and we got drinks and we just basically spent the whole day together and it was amazing. <laughs> So after high school, Scott and I went a long time without living uh, near each other. But he's been a constant source of support and, and friendship for me, no matter whether I'm close by or whether I'm 3,000 miles away. But uh, since moving uh, back to New York, I've gotten to know Jessie and understand what drew Scott to her in the first place. I can tell that her energy, her compassion, and her love for New York City has already rubbed off on Scott. And it's been a great joy in my life to be able to routinely spend time with them over the last year. <laughs> And I know why it's inside. And I promise that you can trust me. I won't lie. No, I won't hide. Cause you got that in a gold. Yeah, you got that in a gold.
Jesse, you know what you're doing. And for this reason, I know that there will only be more good things to come in your future. Don't worry, I'll always be there to lend an ear um, if you need me. But in the end, I know that you have everything under control and that you guys are going to have a wonderful, successful marriage together. So here's to Jesse and Scott. Here's to the 21st century, bringing them together and to having an amazing and wonderful marriage for the rest of your lives. I love you guys. Jessica and the groom Scott entered into the holy covenant of marriage. Here in the presence of our family and friends we make a vow to honor and cherish one another for all of our days. Joyfully we shall journey through life always remembering this moment and this promise of love and of commitment. Today we venture forth knowing that our union strengthens and elevates us and we will be more compassionate and better people for it. Anila Dodivi Dodili, I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. Each of us is unique and made in the image of God. And as we go through life, we have the opportunity to be touched and changed by many beautiful and inspiring souls. We have the opportunity to see the people we meet in our lives as blessings who have been sent to enrich and inspire us. This new beginning, standing, standing under this chuppah with you, is just such a moment. And that moment when you first met, you found each other and you forged a bond that would bring you to this place. You saw in each other beauty, promise, and companionship. You saw in each other a new beginning. <laughs>